Hi friends, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another property present in the Flexbox. That is nothing but order property. So what is this order property and how it is useful? Let's try to see it. For example, let's say that I am having here four flex items in this container. One, two, three and four. Let's go to the CSS. And here I have mentioned this container as a display flex. And for this, this is the child. And here I am giving the flex basis of 25%. So that each one takes the equal width. Now let's say that here the flex basis is there, right? For each item. Let's try it. Let's see child nth type, nth of type of one so i am taking these all the properties so all the child items i am taking two three four so here this is two and here three and the last one is the four so child nth type of one two three four so we are trying to take it and here for nth type of one so let's say that here what is my say what is my requirement is i want this one is there right so one two three four if you try to see here so these all are placed one after the other why how so because of the here the, this one the order so how in the html we are placing the order in this scenario only in this scenario only we are able to see the output for example i want to get this two item at the first so then what i can do here i can change it to two and here i can write it the one so now two has came first so like this the order if you change it in the html in that manner only it will come so fine that's that's fine so this is one reason so this is one way how we can change the order of the items but not through the html and through the css properties also we can change the order of these flex items so how we can change this is using the order property for example let's say that all these flex items will have a default order property with value 0. So that means all are having with 0. Now let's say that I want this one flex box item to come at the last after the 4. So what I can do here, I can, main, I can make this one as order of 1. That's it. If you make this as order of 1, immediately this one box has moved to the last. Why? Because for this 2 it is 0, for this 3 it is 0, for this 4 is also order is 0. Why? Because the default value of order is 0. For this 3 flex items order is 0. Compared to these 3 flex items, this 1 flex item is having an order of 1. Because of that reason it has moved to the last. Let's say that I want this 3 also to move to the last. So that means what I need to do for this 3 means here. I need to maintain order of 2. So that means here order 1 is having for the 1 right so we need to somehow we need to give a number greater than this 1 so here i can give something like 2 so uh, any number so 2 or 10 also you can give it so here we are able to see that 3 has came to the last so here don't think that we need to give with the numbers in an incremental manner something like 1 2 3 or something like that no no it's not like that you can also give 100 so if you give 100, 1 will come last. So here you can give it as 200, which is greater than 100. So then it will go at the last. Or otherwise you can give something like 101 also. So it will go to the last. So like this also we can do it. Now this is how the order works actually. So this is how the order actually works. Not only like this, we can also move the flex item to the first. So for example, let's say that I want to move this four box, four box to the first, to the first, to the starting of this one. So how can I do is, so we can give a negative value by default, all are zero, right? So we can give a negative value. So here I can give order of minus one. So now it will move to the first. So four has been moved to the first like this also we can give. So order takes the negative value also. If you mention the negative value, then it will try to come to the forward. So this is how the actually order works. For example, let's say that if I shifted this one to flex direction column. So then how it will work flex direction to column. Then how it will work. Let's see. If I change it to flex direction column, 
then also this flex this order works in the same manner only. so now you, need, you may be getting a doubt that why we will be using this order so in which way this order is useful for example if i want to do this one the same order i can write it in the html right so that it will come let's say that you don't have an access to an html and this html is written in a somewhere else right so if you are having like that scenario and you want to do it through the css means we can only do it through the css means so then we can use this flex thing uh, order thing and also in the mobile resolutions in the media queries when you are trying to write so you need to show one item at the top and one item at the bottom something like that you will be having some scenarios in the mobile resolutions or in particular pixel resolutions you need to show some flex items at the top or some flex items at the bottom or in the middle something like that in the different order if you want to show it means this order will be very much useful but you need to remember that about the accessibility issue if the screen readers or anything if you have they are trying to read read means they will not take this order into consideration and they will take this flex html format only they try to will try to read it for example here it will first it will try to read with the one as a one why but here visually that one is not at the first it's four is at the first so these accessibility issues you will be having encountering this one so you should be very careful when you are trying to use this order property okay so this is one of the thing which i want to tell you before using this order property for example let's say that we are having in a such a way that uh, all are having one order one and this one will be having order two okay and here this one will be having order three and this one will be having order four so that means all are incremental orders now we are able to see one two three four in exact same behavior we are having now for example let's say that i have made this an order of four so where it will appear so one i have made it as order of four so that means this flex item one and also the flex item four both are having the same orders so one will come before the four before the four flex item or after the four item so we need to check it so for example if you make it as a four here the one will come before the four only it will not come after the four so this is the also when you need to understand here when the both orders are same means you need to uh, then it will check the first occurrence so which one is trying to move so which one occurs at the starting so one is uh, one is coming from the starting right so that is the reason it will it will be here so four will come last so this is also one scenario which you need to remember if you are having bo both the orders same means then the actual original order how it was it will take into precedence so that order will come then afterwards this order will this order will be taken into precedence but still if you want to go you want to, if you want this one to be coming at the end means then you need to give five so that it is increment so that it is more than this four order number then you'll be able to see it so this is all about the flex box order property hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you